Yo guys, how's it going? Uh, I was just trying to record a video for you. I didn't sleep from yesterday and it's 6 a.m. And um, I want to talk about vulnerable XSS Flask app and create a small script and show you how XSS can happen usually uh, and how we can secure our Flask app. Uh, even if you want you can use Django instead of Flask, Django framework but in this tutorial I want to talk about uh, Flask app um, Flask framework to create a to develop a website and okay let's go so first I'm, uh, I wanna create a, I wanna uh, from Flask library import Flask and then I need request as well and the flask needs to be capital I need request as well then I'm going to what I'm going to do I'm going to say okay it is my app flask uh, now we understand this file name uh, the file this file name flask app uh, under under name that means the name of the file. This is the Flask app because we wanna make we wanna uh, make our Flask framework to understand what is our uh, what is our main project. And then what we are going to do, we are going to create a route and uh, app at sign app dot route and then i want to say for example uh, we have a, a page with the name of home it can be home yeah and uh, i'm going to define the function with the name of home as well or it can be index dot index can be index and what i'm going to do right now i want to create a <coughs> parameter in the home uh, and that parameter can be search can be the search parameter can be anything but it's a simple example I don't want to make a large script for you and explain to you so I'm going to just define the create a uh, search uh, simple search parameter search request.org.get and then a little bit zoom in because I want you guys to know to see what I'm writing and then the problem is going to be search right now uh, I, right now I didn't sanitize my search parameter and I directly put it in the search variable and after this I want to return the certain value which I want for example return I'm looking for my search value uh, so we can use dot format dot format and use search or we can simply use f string and search there is no different and right now I didn't do anything that means I didn't sanitize my search parameter and I directly put my search value uh, my search parameter value into the search variable and after that I return okay it can be inside the h1 tag definitely h1 and then I directly put it in the h1 tag and I, say, and I just say I'm looking for your search value and the search value can be anything, can be a string and can be JavaScript code as well, malicious JavaScript code. And then at the end I can simply run it. So you can say app and then with name. main app dot run dot 
put on and simply go to my I wanna go to my CMD go to desktop and go to fast app and find some app and here in a local host we got the website if I'm going to directly go to my local host with a port of 5000 as you can see here uh, I'm going to get not found because I didn't put any road in it any default road and my road is in a home so if I'm going to go to the road of home it's going to say I'm looking for none why none because I didn't put any parameter here if I'm going to say okay now use the search parameter search equal um, test it's just going to show me I'm looking for test as we said here I'm looking for the search value the value which user put in the search parameter right now what about that if I'm going to put a match JavaScript code and I want to try to inject my JavaScript code inside the page and see what's gonna happen what about if I'm going to say okay uh, there is an image I'm going to add it first I'm going to close the tag why close the tag because here if we, if we have the tag we are going to close the tag after we if I'm not going to uh, even if I'm not going to close the tag it's going to it's going to work image source x on error <coughs> here yeah and as you can see we get the alert, alert one why because uh, we we will be able to inject our massive JavaScript code and we simply say we simply create the image tag and say our image exists in the source and, and source is the location of our image and our location and lo the location of our image is x but we know there is no x so we are going to get error that's why we say on error that means whenever you get error and we are we just make sure we just 100% we know we are going to get error and I say it, okay if we get error alert or we can say even confirm or prompt or everything you want confirm or you okay for example and then close the tag here we get the picture here but we didn't confirm here maybe because uh, I didn't write confirm correctly maybe yeah here confirm here we can put value inside it definitely you uh, put our quotation yeah here as you can see so uh, we simply inject our matches JavaScript code uh, inside the page and we get the result we get the alert we, and we get the prompt uh, confirm and everything which you want so simply hacker find the reflected XSS and can try to uh, steal the cookie of their user and send the master stream to the user to steal the cookie of the, the user but how programmer can simply sanitize one of the way which can programmer simply sanitize the search parameter is that simply use HTML module and library to escape from any HTML character what does that mean? That means if user try to inject any HTML character like double quotation, like you know double quotation, this, 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 I don't know, this, this kind of thing, just going to escape from that, just going to try to encode it. And let's see what's gonna happen after we use HTML.escape. Right now, here. Uh, you need to close what you have to do you need to close you need to close your Python scheme and run it again because we are not in a debug mode if I'm going to if I'm going to ask the if I'm going to put the mal, uh, put the JavaScript payload here it's just going to still work it's going to still work but we know it doesn't have to work why it's going to work because uh, we we saved our Python script. That's right. But we need but we need to close the program and run it again. Python app. What about now? 
Pues se manda inmenso sex. Mm. Yeah, here as you, as you can see, we didn't get the confirm and we didn't get any pop up. And it's just going to it just simply reflect our value in the page as a response. So uh, it's kind of sanity uh, san uh, we, uh, uh, programmer simply sanitize try to simply sanitize the search parameter but that's not enough honestly you have uh, programmers need to have a lot more ways to um, try to sanitize the parameter as possible was one of the ways which exists uh, you can just simply import the HTML and use html.escape to escape from the HTML character if user used because when hacker want to inject a malicious JavaScript code first they're going to use HTML tag character to escape from the certain tag or to inject their own JavaScript code but when we use this HTML.escape just going to uh, simply encode it uh, encode it so it's, it's just going to uh, show v uh, whatever uh, user or users are looking for as a response and it's not going to inject it in HTML code because it's HTML escape that means it's not going to let it to inject it's just going to uh, encode encode the certain characters it is one of the way what one, one of the other ways first i want to tell you first i want to talk about this a little bit why we need to close it and run it again because we are running a debug mode if you wanna uh, if you don't want to close the program and run it if, uh, again we need to be in a debug mode that means debug true right now if i'm going to make change let me show you here here right now i'm going to go right right now if i'm going to uh, if i'm going to inject uh, my payload again it's not going to work but what about if right now i'm going to remove the html escape <coughs> and control s as you can see when we do control s uh, automatically it's just going to save the result and we don't need to uh, we don't need to close the program again and run it again because we are in a debug mode right now the debug mode right now is true and simply if i'm going to press enter i'm going to get the alert one because we just we just removed the html.escape uh, and we just removed the html.escape function and that's it another thing which i was trying to say well, you can use ChatGPT and ask from ChatGPT how you can secure your Flask app. I'm going to say uh, how to secure my Flask app to avoid from ETSS. And it's just going to explain it, explain the ETSS vulnerability and say, okay, you can use template engine, you can use that, and you can use sanitize user input. Okay, there are a lot of ways to avoid from XSS. Uh, you can use all of them uh, just in case. Uh, but one of the way can be using HTML module and using HTML.escape function. I'm going to say, okay, write me escape based on the each way and add html dot escape way to avoid this is well oh oh my bad my bad my bad my bad right escape for each way just going to write escape for each of the way which just it mentioned it is one of the way using the bleach module you can read the comment here sanitizing user input using bleach and here bleach.clean 
you're just going to simply clean the uh, sanitize or clean the value and then try to render it and uh, there's another way okay I'm going to say write me escape to avoid from ETSS using HTML library like the way which I explained to you here you're just going to use simply use the HTML escape as you can see HTML escape anyway we can say we can ask more question about from ChatGPT. Uh, so we can try to add a lot of security uh, things in our Python script to avoid from uh, XSS and avoid, avoid from this kind of in injection attacks. That's it. I hope you love this tutorial. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, you have to make sure all of the programmers make sure to sanitize their uh, parameter and sanitize all of their input uh, whenever user can uh, can write something and whenever there is an input somewhere in website user can simply inject malicious code and it can be SQL malicious code lead to SQL injection JavaScript malicious code lead to XSS and even HSTI like for the server side interpreter injection which is uh, which is a vulnerability in the Python mostly. Uh, so mostly programmer need to tr uh, need to uh, remember to uh, sanitize all of the inputs as possible. But these days we know not only programmers are going to sanitize the uh, inputs, but also are going to use some firewalls, which can help them to avoid from injection attacks. But uh, hackers are so creative and they're going to find a way to even bypass the firewall so I hope you love this tutorial like before I was just trying to tell you and explain to you in a both way as a programmer and as a hacker and because when you have the both mindset uh, it's so awesome because it can help you to be uh, the best hacker ever I'm saying that because uh, some newbies and some I can say escape kiddies, kiddos they don't have enough mindset uh, like a web developer like a programmer but if you want to be a good hacker uh, in any in any field you have to know a little bit of programming if you want to do the reverse engineer if you want to be a reverse engineer you have to know assembly you have to know how pro, how different software developed so you can uh, use reverse engineering techniques to crack the softwares if you want to be bug bounty hunter at least you have to create some website develop some small website to understand uh, the way how websites work and uh, even if you have to uh, do anything if you have to be if you want to be any kind of uh, ethical hacker and penetration tester you gotta have the boring both mindset not only hacking mindset but also programming mindset because first you have to know how most of the programmer thinks then you can break you can break it and abuse from the mindset of programmers and one of the way is like that first try to be a good programmer then go and try to be a hacker I hope you love this tutorial like before don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this uh, video if you have any question comment me below I'm going to answer you as fast as possible that's it see you later